So you're probably asking, or at least you should be asking, how is it that shining red light on our skin can impact things like acne and wound healing, etc.? Well, to understand that, we have to think back to the beginning of the episode where I described how long wavelength light, such as red light and near infrared light, which is even longer than red light, can pass through certain surfaces, including our skin. So our skin has an epidermis, which is on the outside, and the dermis, which is in the deeper layers. Red light and infrared light can pass down into the deeper layers of our skin where it can change the metabolic function of particular cells. So let's just take acne as an example. Within the dermis, the deep layers of our skin, we have what are called sebaceous glands that actually make the oil that is present in our skin. Those sebaceous glands are often nearby hair follicles. So if you've ever had an infected hair follicle, that's not a coincidence that hair follicles tend to get infected. Part of it is because there's actually a portal down and around the hair follicle, but the sebaceous gland is where the oil is created that is gonna give rise to, for instance, acne lesions. 